Yeah, we need to improve the way that we think about practice and talk about love and what that means. Um, and one of the biggest problems I have with you know pop music, culture, and, and, and society's discussion of love is the the, the 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 common phrase you know I need you. To love is to need someone, and not only is that false, it's really the opposite of what it means to health have a healthy love for someone else. Well, let's you know examine the truth behind that. Does that mean that they they need you? Like they can't live with that? You know they can't breathe. Uh, their life won't go on. Um, you know what they weren't alive before they met you. You know the reality is you weren't always together. You may not have been as happy, but you were alive. So the things that we actually need are things like water, food, oxygen, and what would we do to make sure that we have those things that we need? We would manipulate for the sake of survival to have those things. And the opposite of the verb to love, you know, the expression of love, the opposite is, you know, Hate, you could say, would be the opposite of the emotion, love. I'm talking about the verb, to actively love, to practice love. The opposite of that love is to use. And so, you know, when someone says they need you, you know, recognize that for what it is. That's someone trying to clamp shackles on you. Like, you can't ever leave me, because if you leave me, I will die. Well, that's not healthy. That's not real love. That's using someone. That is manipulation. Healthy love is not about needing. It's about wanting. You know, I love being around you. Um, and I want to get all the time that I can with you. But if you need to go, you're happier with someone else, happier by yourself. If I can't let you go, I don't actually love you. This relationship is not about how much I care about you and want you to be happy. This relationship is about what you do for me. It's a selfish emotion. It's a selfish relationship. So, you know, my you know, little test, little thought experiment, how do you know if your partner loves you and vice versa? Well, you know, just imagine that your partner, your girlfriend, wife, husband, you know, whoever you're involved with, imagine, you know, God forbid they meet someone tomorrow that they would rather spend time with, that they have better conversation with, that is more supportive, that helps them become a better person, that you know they would just rather be around. If you can't let them go without hard feelings and love them all the same and care about them, then you don't love them. And the opposite is true, then they don't love you. Because the definition of love that I have, you can define it for yourself, but it's simply the deepest level of caring about someone else. It's when you care so much about them that they feel like they are part of you. When they're happy, you're happy. When they're sad, you're sad. You feel it. And ultimately, again, you want them to be happy. And if they're happier with someone else, you have to let them go. If they're happier by themselves, you have to let them go. And that shouldn't diminish how much you care about them. Celebrate them. The fact of their existence that you get to spend time with them and still be there to support them. Um, so think about it.